Welcome to Utica TV Overtime. I'm James Brown. And I'm Grace Monaco. Before we get started, we would like to thank Spectrum for their fast internet service and for helping make Utica TV Overtime possible. To sign up for Spectrum internet or mobile service, please call 1-800-831-1547 or use the QR code shown. Tell them Utica TV sent you. Now let's get into the action. The women's hockey team squared off against Newman College this past Friday in what was an absolute shootout. Rachel DeLong had a career game, scoring her first goal as a pioneer before adding another goal in the third. Casey Ryder and Erica Sloan both recorded a pair of goals each. Haley Modlin, Kelsey Elliott, and Maggie Rylock also added one goal and one assist each in the contest. Angela Hawthorne was outstanding in the net, making five saves and adding to her program record 16th shutout of her career. The Pioneers got off to a good start with a 5-0 lead after the first period, outshooting Newman by an incredible 27-1 margin. Erica Sloan scored her final goal of the period at the 14-minute, 59-second mark. Carly Stefaniti and Jordan Kowalski earning the assist on the goal to give the Pioneers a 5-0 lead heading into the first intermission. Kelsey Elliott continued finding the back of the net at the 6-minute, 18-second mark, with Holly Silva and Rachel DeLong getting the assist, increasing the Pioneer lead to 6-0. By the end of the final period of play, the Pioneers stood at 7 to nothing. The scoring slowed down moving into the third with DeLong finding the back of the net at the 8 minute and 40 second mark on a dime by Madison Novotny and Kelsey Elliott to increase Utica's lead to 8 to nothing. The final period saw both teams putting, fighting for the puck in the neutral zone with Erica Sloan scoring at the 17 minute and 35 second mark with Kowalski and Barrett earning the assist. Ryder closed out the game, scoring with just 12 seconds left to make it a 10-0 final score in an intense game. On Friday, December 1st, Utica men's hockey team faced off against the Division I Stonehill College Skyhawks in the 19th annual Teddy Bear Toss game. Despite the Pioneers winning the faceoff and challenging Stonehill's goalie right away, Stonehill managed to score first early on into the match. Utica freshman Eric Vidal would waste no time responding, though. His first of the game and first of the season would send the teddy bears flying as the Pioneers would tie the game with just over halfway left in the first period. Look at those bears fly. After the teddy bear cleanup, Brian Scoville would score next for Utica after a series of penalties from Stonehill gave Utica a five on three power play. In the closing minutes of the first frame, the Pioneers' Drake Morris would add another goal to the tally bringing Utica's lead up three to one. Morris scored again in the second period with the assist coming from Jacob Bro. Aiden Hughes scored Utica's next goal after drawing a penalty and taking advantage of the penalty shot opportunity. Shortly after Utica's goal, Stonehill would put one past the Pioneers goalie, cutting the deficit to 5-2. to two. After assisting two goals earlier in the game, Utica's Jacob Bro scored Utica's sixth goal of the night. With three minutes remaining in the game, Drake Morris would finish off his hat trick, scoring his third goal in Utica's seventh of the night. Utica TV's U Nico Leonard was able to catch Eric Vidal after the game. All right, man, so that, you're a freshman. That was your first career goal, first goal of the year. How does it feel for your first goal to be the one that set all the teddy, teddy bears flying? Yeah, it's, a, it's an unreal feeling. I mean, the fans here at the Odd just like brought an unreal energy tonight, just like every other night. And it's just, it's, an, it's a surreal feeling. I feel so happy right now. How do you think that goal, I mean, with the value that it has at a place like this, is going to set the precedent for the rest of your career here? Uh, you know, I hope I, I get a couple of fans after that one. But uh, honestly, it was a great win, great cause. And tonight's just a great night. Awesome, man. Yeah, you're going to have a lot of fans after that one. Thank you. No problem. Enjoy. Thanks, Nico. The Pioneers' dominating performance earned them a 7-2 victory and their sixth win of the season. On December 2nd, the Utica University men's wrestling team traveled to the RIT Invitational hosted by the Rochester Institute of Technology. Trevor Courtright performed once again. After a first round bye, he defeated Gurjan Bangu by Tech Fall 17-2. Then he went on to win by decision over Matthew Carroza from Trinity 6-0 before falling to Jack Nepalani by decision 9-6. In the fifth place bout, Courtright pinned Ty Daugherty of John Carroll at the 4 minute and 10 second mark to solidify 5th place in the 133 weight class. 
In the 141 weight class, Billy Beseth picked up a win in his first Constellation match by pinning Grayson Marola from Norwich at the 58 second mark. Seth Richardson came away with a pair of victories as he pinned Farhi Negabon in his first match before defeating John Sclafani of Norwich by tech fall in the Constellation bracket, 19 to two. Connor Shaw attacked on a win of, on the day as well as he pinned Alexander Cole of Penn State Barron at the two minute and 44 second mark in the 184 pound weight class. Matthews Bonato earned a win over Grayson Marola of Norwich in his first Constellation match in the 149 pound weight class. The Utica University men's wrestling team placed 13th in the RIT Invitational. A doubleheader on December 1st and 2nd for the women's hockey team saw two exciting games to say the least. Friday the 1st, the Pioneers netted 10 goals and followed up with 11 the next day, combining for 21 goals in two days against Newman University. Goaltender Angela Hawthorne was the star of the weekend, posting two shutouts and earning her 41st career win, the most career wins in Utica women's hockey history. In her 20 minutes of play, she had four saves until backup goaltender Maddie Esposito skated onto the ice. Esposito held the Knights off the board with 10 saves throughout the game. The Pioneers are red hot right now. Catch them in action again at home at the Nexus Center on January 26th against conference rival Nazareth College. The Utica University women's wrestling team completed its day at the Novice Women's Wrestling Tournament, which was hosted by Muhlenberg College on Sunday, December 3rd. Freshman Ashley Mendez was the lone wrestler for the Pioneers at this tournament. In Ashley's first match, she faced off against Irene Macri of Lehigh University, which she was defeated by pinfall in 2 minutes and 32 seconds. In Ashley's second match, she faced off against Daisha Roberts of Princeton University by criteria 4-4. This marks Mendez's first win as a Pioneer. Congratulations, Ashley. In Mendez's final match of the tournament, she faced off against Ann Lawrence of Columbia University, where she won by decision of 6-5. Now I'm going to go throw it over to our reporter Josh to hear what games are coming up this week. Thanks guys. The men's basketball team will be playing at Hamilton College on Thursday, December 7th. The Pioneers have won three straight games against Hamilton dating back to 2019. The game starts at 7pm on Mega Court in the Clarks Athletic Center. See you there. The men's and women's track and field teams have their Holiday Classic Invitational on Friday and Saturday. The event begins on Friday at 5 p.m. where the men's team will compete in the seven event Hapathlon. The Invitational will continue on Saturday at 11 a.m. where both men's and women's team will be competing. You can catch all the action at the Hunt Sports Dome. That's what's coming up this week. Back to you. Thanks, Josh. And that's all the Utica sports we have for you this semester. We can't wait to see you all next year. Be sure to follow us on social media at UticaUTV on Instagram and visit our website at UticaUTV.org. Thank you so much for watching us all year. See you in 2024. And always remember to fear, fear the, the moose. moose.